Hello everyone, this is Human Hard Drive, and today we're starting our look at Arduino Shields. Um, today we're going to be talking about the, we're going to be looking over the LOL Shield. But first I want to talk about uh, what a shield is. Now, what a shield is, is it is what makes the Arduino such an amazing tool. Because normally in order to make a more expansive device, You'd have to build off of this, and you'd have to get all these jumpers out, or you'd take the chip off and design your own board, and very complicated. But what the Arduino does is it lets you, instead of building out, build up. And that's the great thing about the shield. And it, if you look at the Arduino, it has a very particular footprint when it comes to its headers, which is particular to the Arduino itself, which allows shields to be built exactly for it. So, shields are a really great thing, and they come in, you can get a shield for anything. They're Ethernet shields, uh, motor driver shields, speaker shields, amplifier shields, Wi-Fi shields, Bluetooth shields, anything you can imagine. Um, so, all a shield is, is it allows easier access for external devices to the Arduino. So, like I said, we're going to be talking about the LOL shield, so here it is. This is the LOL shield, that's uh, not laugh out loud, that's lots of LEDs. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of LEDs. There are 126 LEDs. It's a 9 by 14 array, all connected together using the magic of Charlie Plexing to make the Arduino drive this. Because while well, the Arduino actually only has 18 digital input and outputs, I might have actually just understated that, I think it's actually 19. You can drive all 126 of these using uh, a method called Charlie Plexing, which lets you control specific LEDs by turning on and off various pins. And let me tell you something this thing took two hours to put together. It's a lot of soldering and it's a lot of clipping. And if you can see all of these cuts and all of the joints, yeah, I'm still finding little pieces of LED leads on my floor sticking into my foot from all the cutting I did but this thing is really cool with all the things you can do with it because it effectively acts as a little dot matrix television screen so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this thing can do so again shields let you just take this let you just connect the two so if I could show you how they mate like that now the thing about the law shield if you've seen my Arduino tutorials, you'll notice I've taped up aside my USB because the USB housing is metal and will cause some of these to short across, which is bad. Another thing I had to do is I had to cut off out my pin 13 LED and resistor because it would actually cause some artifacts on the uh, shield itself. So I just did that to gain full functionality. You don't have to do that. That's a little bit of a drastic step to take. But if you don't mind, you don't have to do it. Now, the guys that make this, Jimmy P. Uh, P. Dodgers, they include a they give you a library for this, and it gives you all sorts of cool things. So if I just go ahead and plug this in, I think I've got one running on here. So uh, you can it has a, they include a full ASCII library, as you can see, full ASCII car set character set. So, money, percent, ampersand, exclamation point, all these symbols. And it's a fairly easy library to use. So, it gives you, it lets you do scrolling text, uh, it'll let you print text. Let's see, I've got a couple libraries pulled uh, up. Uh, as you see with a lot of these, they also include life. So, let that upload. So here's life. If you don't know life, it's a John Conway's game of life. It's a cellular automata. So each of these little dots is a cell, and it's running through its simulation. Uh, they include Pong. So there's Pong. It even gives you a score update. So my guy's not going to move too much. So Pong, and they even have Tetris. So it's all this cool stuff you can do, and the limits you're really you're, the limit is your own imagination. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this. 
they do break out a couple pins for you. They do break out uh, ground and AREF because the Tetris live uh, the Tetris example and Pong example use the use a potentiometer, and uh, they also break out uh, analog pins four and five. Those being the I2C clock and data lines, and they also give you the analog lines for the potentiometer to control Tetris and Pong libraries. So all in all, it's a pretty cool shield if you know you've got 25 bucks lying around and two hours to spend on soldering. But it's a lot of fun to play with. So this has been Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.